We were in a car. Someone from the label had called him and said, we need you to write a song. He says, you know, I really don't have any time. And he starts beatboxing and he starts singing it to me. And I go, what are you doing? He goes, I'm making a song right now. You just want attention. You don't want my heart. Maybe you just hate the thought of me with My life is just layers of music and me trying to get around it. Growing up, my mom always said, Charlie, oh, he's different. We'd be walking down an aisle at the grocery store and Charlie would just hear a grocery drop on the floor and say, that, that's a D-flat. <laughs> what I have is absolute pitch. You look at the color blue and you just instantly know that it's blue. I can hear a note and instantly know that it's E-flat. Charlie's a savant. I get very distracted easily. I'm hearing drones in the background. I'm hearing morning doves. Mm, air conditioner's on. What key is that on? B. There's so many notes and, and frequencies around us all the time. So if you hear all of them, of course it's got to be annoying. I think 10% of it is a gift. The rest is just a curse. I really had no application for it for so long. But uh, when I started producing music, I found a good way to use it. He didn't have much of a social life, but everybody liked him because he beatboxed. And I used to always tell him in the back seat when he was little, you know, you gotta stop doing that. You're gonna, people are gonna think you're a little weird. And he'd be okay, and then he'd be like. People definitely thought I was strange, but I just loved being by myself and making music. I'd call up record labels and pretend to be my own manager and take trains to New York City. And he would wait in people's offices here for seven hours and they wouldn't meet with him. I had no other plan, and I was surrounded by other people's doubt. Everyone making comments, saying, oh, what are you doing with your life? The success rate is less than 1%. It was a difficult process to watch. I was really discouraged. He was getting bummed out, and then he just said, I can't do it here. I have to go to LA, because that's where it is. I did not think that the artist thing was going to work out for me. I don't know. I just didn't think I was good enough, but I guess I was wrong. It's been a long Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it When I see you again We've come a long way From where we began I was very blindsided when See You Again happened because it was literally the first song that I wrote in California. We checked the Hot 100 and saw that it was number one. I kind of just froze. I think all the stars lined up that day. It doesn't happen overnight. He's very driven. I had proven myself with a song that did well, but that didn't do much for my artistry. It wasn't really me. What it really showed me is that we had a lot of work to do. When you have someone else on a song, it's great. But there's something about being on your own song for the first time and showing to the world, you know, this is my debut as an artist. I would say that when attention hit, that's when we started to see the shift of his career. He played me the, the sketch for attention. And I was like, bro, what is this? The first line of the verse, like, you've been running around throwing dirt on my name because you knew I'd call you. I just feel like everyone has experienced that. It was a song that had a story behind it, and it was fully him. Now I've gotten to a point where I can tell the stories of my life. And that's where we're at now with voice notes. I'm really excited about voice notes coming out because this honestly feels like my debut album. I'm scared for people to know me. Like, Why? Even, even more so because it's really personal. He played the whole album, and when he gets excited, he starts standing on his toes and starts like, he's a masterpiece of beautiful songs. Charlie's album. But in four days of being out, it's already gold. I truly am humbled by that. It's really, really cool. Charlie's about to go on the Honda Civic tour this summer. We've never had a partnership like this before, and it really takes us to the next level with his, you know, touring career. The Honda Civic Tour, I think it's a huge statement to be headlining a tour like that, especially at this stage in his career. You know, we're hitting venues that we've dreamt of going to before. I want the element of surprise to be in the tour. The whole show should feel like a, a roller coaster. I'm really excited. Yeah.